Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week 12 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Today we are going to crochet our way across the Yukon. Now the stitch that I've chosen today for the Yukon is a cluster stitch and these are clusters set on top of clusters. So they're made with a combination of single crochet stitches and double crochet stitches and I'll be demonstrating that pattern to you today. For this project you will find the complete written tutorial along with the materials needed on my blog for free at Rich Textures crochet.com and I will link that here in the video notes for you. While you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel which I like to update weekly with crochet pattern tutorials and stitch tutorials. Today for this project you're going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook along with the worsted weight yarn of your choice. For the panel this week I have uh, put in the pattern that you will start by making a chain of 60 stitches. Again, if you have decided to change the size of your blanket and therefore the panels of your blanket, um, you will need to chain a multiple of four for this pattern if you are changing the size. If you're following the pattern along as written, you will begin by chaining 60. Each of these final three panels, so the one last week, this one, and the one next week, they all measure approximately 16 by 32 inches. For today, for this tutorial, I'm going to start by chaining uh, 20, so a multiple of 4, just because I want to give you a small swatch, an idea of how to work the pattern of these cluster stitches. So one, two, three, four, and twenty. So once you have your chain the desired length, it must be a multiple of four, or if you're following the pattern, uh, you will chain sixty. You are going to begin by placing one double crochet stitch in the fourth chain from your hook. So count in from your hook, one, two, three, four. And this is where you're going to place your first double crochet stitch. You will then skip the next chain and you will single crochet in the next. Skip the next chain and then work three double crochet stitches in the next. This is the first of your clusters. One, two, and three. Skip the next chain and single crochet in the next chain. Now you are going to repeat. You will repeat, you will skip the next chain, and then you will work three double crochet in the next. One, two, and three. Skip the next chain and work one single crochet. And repeat. Skip the next chain, three double crochet in the next. Skip the next chain and single crochet in the next. Once you come to the final two chains in uh, your starting chain there, you will finish the row by working two double crochet stitches in the last stitch. So skip the next chain and in that last chain work two double crochet stitches. One and two. And that will bring you to the end of your chain. 
for row two, you're going to turn and you're going to chain one. You will then single crochet in that first double crochet. Skip the next double crochet and work three double crochets in the top of the next single crochet. So one, two, three. Skip the next double crochet and single crochet in the top of the next double crochet. Skip the next double crochet and then you're going to repeat. Work three double crochets in the top of your single crochet. Skip the next double crochet and work a single crochet in the top of the next. And repeat. Skip the next double crochet, work three double crochets in the top of your next single crochet. Skip the next double crochet and single crochet in the top of the next. Work three double crochets in the top of that next single crochet. And when you come to your final two stitches, your chain three and your double crochet, you are going to complete the row by working one single crochet stitch in the top of that chain three. Your chain three in this will always count as a double crochet stitch, so you will always work a single crochet in the top of that double crochet. And that brings you to the end of row two. For row three, you are going to turn and chain three. Your chain three, once again, will always... After your chain three, you're going to double crochet in the same stitch. So in that stitch that your chain three comes out of, that single crochet, you're going to work one more double crochet stitch. You will then skip the next double crochet and work a single crochet in the top of the next double crochet. So in each of your clusters, just to explain it simply, you'll be working a single crochet in that middle double crochet uh, of each cluster and you'll always work a cluster of double crochet stitches, so the three double crochet stitches in each of your single crochet stitches. So I've just worked my single crochet stitch in the top of that double crochet. I'm going to skip the next stitch and then work three double crochet stitches in my next single crochet. And you're going to repeat. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the top of the next. Skip the next stitch and work three double crochet stitches in your next single crochet stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the top of the next. Skip the next double crochet and work three double crochet stitches in your next single crochet stitch. And repeat. When you come to the end of your row for row three, in your final single crochet stitch, you will simply work two double crochet stitches. And that will bring you to the end of row three. And that's all there is to it for this pattern. Now what you will do is you are going to repeat row two and row three for the rest of your panel. Again, if you're following along in the crochet pattern, you're going to continue until the work from the beginning measures approximately 32 inches or a little less. Or if you've changed the size of your panels, you can work until your desired length. Once again, you will finish this panel by working a single round of single crochet stitches all the way around, for which the written instructions can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, linked in the notes of this video. Thank you so much for joining me on this crochet long adventure across the great Canadian landscape. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Happy crocheting. Bye.